Oh, what's going on YouTube? The Gaming Gift here, back with another Don Machi Memorial Freeze video. And today I'm going to be doing something a little different. But before I get started, uh, I want to give a big shout out to Living Ichigo's group on Facebook. Um, the Don Machi Memorial Freeze group is a fantastic place. You can meet new people, talk to new people, get advice on your teams, uh, setups. Uh, quests to do, how to clear certain quests, what to bring, and you can get uh, uh, info updates for the future. Uh, I just now learned today that we're getting another summer uh, summer festival campaign starting the 31st, which is going to feature some new characters, a new Eyes, Lafia, Lily, Anna, uh, and Emil. I think I believe her name is a silver-haired girl. Uh, but I digress. Uh, that's not the point of the video right now. Um, yeah, go go check them out. Go send in your request join up all that great stuff i'm not an active admin so i can't uh bring you in right away but there are always active admins active at every single point they will bring you in as fast as they can as they're always bringing in new people i will leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check that out uh real great people real great group uh fantastic ways to get advice and talk one-on-one -on -one with with people or in an open discussion uh but anyway let's get on to the point of the video so today we're doing something a little different. Um, Don Machi Memorial Freeze has been out for about four or five months now. Uh, we all had a set chance to sit down and play the game, enjoy the game, experience the game. And I thought, well, we're always having a wave of new players all the time. Someone comes across the game, they download it, they give it a shot, and they don't really know what they're doing. So today, the, the point of the video is... This is a beginner's, beginner's guide to Don Machi Memoria Freeze. Uh, so I'm going to be going over some steps that beginners, uh, beginners such as anyone watching this video or anyone who wants to introduce someone to the game uh, who watches the video uh, can really figure out what they're doing when they start the game. First and foremost, the game has a very good tutorial, as it is. Uh, it holds your hand pretty well, so you can figure out what you're doing. But there are some few things that you really want to take the extra steps to do. Uh, first and foremost, if you go to missions, if you go to total, uh, there, right now I don't have it because I've been playing for quite some time. There will be an extra tab called Rookie Missions, and there will be there won't be a list, but there will be one mission that you have to complete at a time. Make sure you do those. Follow the list as instructed. Uh, if you follow the list, it will help you easily progress through the game by clearing the missions that uh, that appear up. And I'll let you figure out, hey, okay, this is where I go to get this. This is where I go to get that. This is how I go to do this. Uh, and not only that, at the end of the working missions, which there are 36 in total, you will get a guaranteed four-star ticket. So you can pop into the gotcha, throw that in, and get a guaranteed four-star character. That's fantastic. Uh, so make sure you follow those steps. Make sure you do those, because those are very important on your early jumps in the game. They get you a lot of great materials and a lot of good uh, iris. Uh, next step. Um, to further understand the game a little bit better, you go down here to Ina's Guidance, guidance Quests. Uh, so there's only eight missions. It'll it'll give you she'll give you a quick run through on status effects, uh, how to use skills, clear quest, um, and special arts. Don't mind the A. My my team's a little too strong. <laughs> I did this the other day. Um, but yeah, yeah. Don't be me. Uh, do this right at the uh, beginning. It'll let you get an understanding on the few, on the five status ailment, uh, four status ailments of the game: uh, poison, sleep, steal, and stun. Uh, so make sure you're doing that. Make sure you jump on in. Check that out. Uh, next step is follow the story. Um, just go about clearing the story to the best of your ability. Uh, you're going to be earning some iris. You're going to be getting a lot of iris for clearing not only the missions from the rookie missions, but you're also going to be getting a lot of iris for clearing out all this stuff. Um, there are missions for clearing out each part of, uh, of a story on, on a certain difficulty. So follow the normal story, uh, get as far as you can, so you can unlock the blacksmith at episode 21 one of Bells. You want the black? Uh, you do want the blacksmith? Uh, I'll show you real quick. Because the blacksmith allows you to craft and create. So barrel through the story. Take your time, as, as always. Take your time. But barrel through the story. Get through there. Get to a certain point where you could stop. Because not only will you be getting Iris, you'll also be getting Fauna and Exilia books that you can use to level and power up your characters. Now, speaking of which, so we're gonna go to characters. We're gonna go to level enhance, for example. So, to level up your character, you're gonna need one of three books uh, of auxilia books. There's small, medium, and large. 
Uh, large gives you the most XP, I, obviously, but uh, you can use these books to level up your characters, and then you click on this down up here uh, for the status board. Or you can just go to this tab and click on a character. Let's first say, let's bell. Uh, so each character will have their specific status board. Um, the status board, let's find a character that I had not opened the board. So the status board will look like this. Um, basic four stars have a lot more. Uh, two stars or three stars have a little less at the start. Um, you click on each one and it'll tell you what specific file name you need so you can unlock the slot. Or you could go down here to release all and it'll uh, give you the option to release all of them. So that's, I'll do that right here. And as you notice, the abilities uh, her stats right there they actually increase so this gives the character uh, a healthy stat boost as well as ranking up your character so you can li uh, limit break them to the next uh, next star four stars go to five stars five stars goes to six stars and so on and so forth from six star you would need bonds but that's a later time that's not for this video uh, so this following into my next step limit break as many characters as you possibly can I'm still working on doing that myself as you can see but limit break as many characters as you can get them as high up there because there are missions that you get iris for for uh limit breaking your characters to the next star yeah see there are plenty of characters that you can choose from there are only going to be two one star characters in the game bell and hestia all other characters you're going to be getting from gotchas or events are going to be two star or higher uh, so make sure you're limit breaking those characters guys limit break as many as you can especially early on uh in your game um here let's go to party tap out one of the rookie missions will 100 percent to be to get your first star bell cranel all the way up to level six and limit break him um even though he started out as a one star, this bell pretty much gets you through most of the story if you just follow the rookie missions. Um, most, of, most of the characters in this game do serve a purpose. They do still have a purpose. Um, regardless of their level, regardless of their stats, you can utilize the characters as such, get them to a high enough star so you can actually make use of them. Of course, four star characters are, going, are always going to have the superior stats that you get from gotchas. But... That doesn't mean that no character, none of these two star characters, ah, I'm not a character list, hold on. None of these two star, <laughs> okay. None of these two star characters or three star characters have any less of use. They all have their abilities. They all have their specific things. Um, if you need a healer, this Lily right here is very good in doing so. Um, let's see, where is he? This man right here. Miach, he is a great, uh, great assist unit uh, for PvP and other things, as um, as he offers poison, so on and so uh, so forth. And now on to our next step. Yeah, as you can see, mission complete, boost the level or status board, and, and yeah, you get all that stuff. Um, so on and so forth. Uh, the next step is clear out the events. The events are going to be real easy uh, most of the time. You can clear out the normal pretty easily and some of the very hard. Um, but usually try and stick with normal because that's where you'll get new stuff, new iris, uh, file net and everything. And you can exchange any, any of the objects that you get from here. And you can get a bunch of fauna, a bunch of Alice XP and stuff. And then... One, once you get to a certain part of the story where you can unlock the blacksmith, the very first thing you want to do is go ahead in here to purchase and purchase weapons specific for your characters and armor as well. Um, these aren't fantastic weapons, but they give your characters a good enough stat boost as to where you can actually, you know, they can perform a little better. Um, this is a beginner's guide, so I'm not going to be going over Rampage where you're going to be getting the materials to get much better stuff. Uh, no, no, no. Now, that is a much later down the road because Rampage does get very difficult. Uh, but the the gear that you purchase from 
a blacksmith gets you going. And you also get a bunch of uh, story items from the story to actually get new weapons and gear uh, from... Yeah, you go in here. Nope. It is under... Nope. Special exchange. So you come in here to equipment exchange. There will be a bunch of different weapons in here. Uh, weapons and armor that you get from like the story mode that you can come in here and take. Uh, so it's good. It gets you uh, gets you started pretty well. Uh, so you can boost certain characters. The Hestia knife is probably the best thing that you could get for any of the bells. Uh, I have it on my Grand Day bell with three with three uh, three bonds in it, and it's it's fantastic. You really don't need anything else for the guy. But um, let's see. One last step. The last step is very quite obviously. Your Exilia and Fauna Quest and, and Valus, because you're going to need a lot of that. Uh, so just come in here. Um, if you don't feel like wasting your usable orbs, you get a lot of them, so I don't really worry about that. Um, and just clear out the two that appear each and every day. Depending on uh, depending on how far you are in the game will depend on what which difficulty you're going to be taking on. Um, if you're as far as I am, all I do is very hard. I don't bother with normal anymore because I don't need all that stuff. I have so much small fauna, it's not even funny. Um, but th this stuff you will go through like candy. You will go through a kid like uh, go through it like a kid who just got home from Halloween and he's barreling through his candy. Um, same thing with the Exilia quest. It's just the same thing. That depending on how far you are is what you're going to be going for. Uh, very hard. Obviously, it gets you large Exilia books, and then come to Valus and the exact same thing. The harder the difficulty, the better uh, better stuff you're going to get. But um, these two, you do have to unlock with uh, the usable orbs. That's not a problem. They're active for 60 minutes. A good 60 minute grind is going to get you a lot of stuff. Uh, so if you at least come and do the Valus, Exilia, and Fallen Quests. Do these a few times throughout the day because they're always open. And do the Valus and Exilia Quests uh, 60 minutes once a day. You're going to get a lot of great stuff to help really get you going. Uh, and that really will do it for the guide, guys. Um, so, yeah. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that'll do it for the guide, guys. Uh, I hope this was really helpful. I hope this uh, will help clear up a lot of what you should do um, at the start of Don Machi Memorial Freeze. There's a lot of other things that I could talk about, but I'm really trying to focus this on like straight out the gate. New players don't know what they're doing. Uh, so there is a lot more to experience. Uh, you can check out my other videos for that. Um, I have them later down in, the, uh, in my thing. They are a little old on the content, but they still provide uh, great ways to be like, oh, well, I could do this now, or I could do this now. Uh, check out this character, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, I tried to make this video as specific to beginners as I possibly could. Uh, that way they can cruise right on through the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, that'll do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, my iris is building up. I'm saving saving for that new event coming out the 31st because I want that new eyes. <laughs> uh, I have thought about going for these guy, uh, these gals, but I want that eyes. I need that eyes. And then when you see her, you'll see why. <laughs> but that'll do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is the Gaming Gift signing off. Make sure you go check out that Facebook page. Great people. Great people. Signing off, guys. Have a great day.